Yes. Let me turn my UI skill back. Well, okay, so who, the people that are spawning for Overlord be the JJ Gaming, Fantix YouTube, um, Oblivious Overlord, and Cyber Tater, and Iron, Iron Spider right now. Fantix YouTube is, you know, playing around Siren. He sees a guy, takes him out. Now, I gotta say, like, this view is just super well. I'm gonna have to up turn my volume, too. Because, like, you can literally see if someone's coming in. Someone's coming in because you just see them through the walls. You see if a player's nearby. You can see all the gunfights happening. But I can just, right now, I can just, you know, try to focus on a little bit. At the moment, uh, the baiters, they're up by kills. They're up by kills by at least two. Aspect Gaming, you know, he's holding down Siren right now for his team. He's setting up that spawn trap onto Phantoms. Because holding down the Siren really, you know, makes it to where, like, you know, Phantoms, they just spawn here. And right when they yeah, try Phantoms to peek out, getting spawn trapped. the people on, yeah, the people on Phantoms are just getting spawn trapped at the Twitter. moment. All right now, Yumiko and telling Google is inside Phantom territory right now. Yumiko trying to play on the high ground, but he's half health and gets taken out by Phantix YouTube. Man, uh, you know, good try by telling Google and Yumiko, but it just didn't work right now. Everyone is just trying to play their spot right now. I believe it's Overlord. It's about to get in a gunfight with Yumiko. I believe it's Overlord wins it. And now, you know, the Phantoms has, ter has, you know, has control of Compound, has control of Cyber Nest, but there's three people in Castle. Let's see what's going to happen right yeah, here. Yeah, Phantom pushing Castle. <laughs> I believe it's Overlord. Uh, He's in high ground. He's going to get taken down. Ooh. Okay, so now Cyber Tater finished off the kill. It's going to be Cyber Tater versus Yumiko. So Yumiko has the high ground. Cyber Tater is just playing in Castle right now. You hear the footsteps. They see each other right now. They're engaging. But Yumiko wins the fight because he has high ground. Off by one health. You can see the health bars too. It's so entertaining. So well. And it's just amazing to watch. I'm going to make sure to turn my volume because I don't think it's loud enough. Um, it could be like too... I don't know if it's loud enough. Uh, if it's loud enough, if it's too loud, just type in chat. I can also reach out at the same time. But right now, everyone on Overlord, they're kind of holding their own right now. You know, uh, a lot of mistakes happening from uh, the baiters, but a lot of mistakes happening from Overlord. But they're doing simply well. But the baiters is just finishing on top. Is there anything you're seeing from uh, both teams? Anything you're seeing from one of these teams, Donnie? Yeah, both teams are getting heavy spawns in Sniper's Nest, which is just a problem of the spawns. Mm -hmm. And it's... It's uh, sad because I can see them spawning right next to each other, which which you never like to see people getting insta killed. But that is uh, how the game is played now. Yeah, right and now a lot of long range coming from the nuts. You know, taking out Iron Spire and the JJ gaming man. And he's you know he just went down through the trenches. He's gonna be entering the spawn when he's low health and he just dies for it. Oh man, that's not what you want to be doing. You're low health. You don't want to be engaging the response just like that. You don't want to play aggressive. Aspect game, Aspect 7 is on top of combat right now. He's going to be trying to enter broken, but there's two people that he's about to approach. Man, he's going to take out Fantasy Gaming, and he takes out Cyber as well. Aspect 7 just uh, took out two players from Overlord. And the baiters right now are just doing super good because Aspect takes out the triple, and he gets another kill entering inside, just playing around broken. And he's just getting another kill, man. Every time Overlord just spawns in, Aspect kills. 7 is taking uh, them out. Aspect 7, man, he's at 15 to 3 at the moment. And he's just doing super good right now. Overlord is now spawning on Bepis. That's not even supposed to where it's supposed to spawn, but the spawns are just a little bit messed up to where now they're just spawning on Bepis. And yeah, Overlord, they're and the disrespecting them, pushing up all the way in their spawns, not yes. giving them any room to breathe. They're 12 up now. No, the JJ game, they both see each other. Take them out. There we go. <laughs> I don't know how they couldn't hear each other, but that just, that just happened, boys. That just happened. Now... You know, I don't want to disrespect these teams, but they, they are one of the lowest teams inside this tournament. One's 29th place, one's 28, and there's only 32 teams in this league, guys. So, you know, it, it might be, you know what, you might, it might not be the top tier game, Kaylee, but, you know, it, it's kind of funny to watch. It's pretty funny, you gotta say. <laughs> but yeah, everyone in the baiters is just doing really good so far. Look at the KDs. Any, any thoughts? Man, right now I don't know how, I, like, do you have any thoughts on what the baiters are really doing, man? Because, like, I guess just the Overlord just can't handle them and any of their spawns. It looks like a 4v5, actually. Looks like a 4v5? Yeah, oh. look on the leaderboard. Or maybe just Iron Spider, yeah. Wait, no, Iron Spider is in. No, I think he had to reset his game. Oh, EDC. okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right now, two people uh, from from the baiters. Oh, the baiter aspect just gets taken out. But, you know, they're just not playing, they're not really playing cover. You know, they're kind of really all just playing in the open, really playing risky. Everyone on Overlord is kind of playing in the open until he's playing the well. What oh, is it? But Telling Google! <laughs> oh my gosh, finishes off the kill! It takes out Fantix YouTube! Fantix YouTube was literally in cover! No, Overlord, they just need to use head glitches more. They just need to use head glitches. But uh, right now, 
they're just losing by 10 points, 11 points so far. And did you guys see that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Telly and Google just clutched up in that gunfight. Now there's a lot of a lot of stuff happening inside ghost spawns at the moment. Manny's using he just can't do anything. Just has a wrong spawn, and almost everyone on or on oh. the baiters is playing around outside of Bepis, Pentagon, and Balcony. And right now, the JJ game, he's holding on Siren. He jumps down, takes out Yumiko. JJ game, he's trying to just oh, he gets taken out. You know, they the baiters are playing near each other, triggering. Just takes you know, trying to shoot his own teammate. <laughs> That's a little funny. Aspect seven, he's trying to fight Phoenix Youtube right now. Ooh, Aspect seven is like a little bit seven health or something. And it's YouTube, he's playing here on cover him. He needs to play aggressive on him, man, because Aspect is super low right now. But, you know, Aspect 7, he has a high ground now. He's kind of just playing boot around, but Phoenix YouTube actually just he's catches him down. down. You know, this is, this is uh, Overlord. They still have a room to come back here. If they just try to just hold down a spawn trap, you know, try to do something, just win the rest of their gunfights. They still have eight minutes left. You know, uh, I have a feeling my Overlord can still come back to this. They just need to pick up the tempo, really try to get, a, you know, a good footing in just spawn trapping. And, you know, they could probably do it. But the baiters, all they gotta do is just keep on putting this up. Keep on trying to get kills. Keep on having Aspect invade Overlord spawn. And he's gonna do it again. <laughs> just the baiters can't do anything. About, like, the baiters can just do that for free. Overlord just can't do anything about that. And this is just hilarious. But yeah, like a lot of... Right now, Cyber Tater in council right now. You know, trying to go run away from Yuko. But Yuko is chasing him down. It's Cyber Tater. Gets taken out. Yumiko, the RBK, RBK 74 just takes him out. Fantasy is playing the cyber tank right now. In a good fight a little bit, but I feel like the rest of the baiters are gonna count him and catch him down and destroy him. There's a game and he's in the middle of the open and gets caught. Two, there's about like three, all three players on the baiters are literally playing around the cyber tank. All three of them now are on top of compound. And it's just, all the good fights are just going towards the baiters right now. Overlord, they're just getting triple teamed, double teamed. You know, throughout all these gunfights. But right now, oh, the JJ Gaming and Fantix and Cyber, you know, just team wiped, just team wiped the baiters so far. You know, recapturing the control of compound. They're actually uh, catching back up. They're only eight down. This is actually looking really good for them. They were 12 down. This is looking really good for Overlord right now. Fantix YouTube, he's in a gunfight with Trigger Ring, but he gets caught out in the middle open again. And Trigger of Curiosity, he's going to be, you know, invading. Phantom spawn right now. Phantom's YouTube and JJ Gaming, they're right near him. He's, they have on his side, but Phantom's YouTube, he knows where he's going and takes him out. Aspect 7, man, he's gonna try to go invade Overlord spawn right now. Could he do this? He's low health, but he gets taken out by Tech 9 from JJ Gaming. Absolute insane. <laughs> insane plays coming in from Overlord so far. And I feel like they're gonna catch up sooner or later, but the baiters, they're definitely holding their own. They're definitely, you know, doing these risky plays and they're, they're confident. Triggering Curiosity, man. He's in the middle. You open Cyber Tater. Shoots him in the back. And Cyber Tater, he's going to be holding control of Castle while Oblivious Overlord is going to be holding with a sniper in Ghost's territory. Um, kind of just, you know, back Ghost. I don't know how I really call that. But there's two people in the Baiters right now playing the Pentagon, playing Pentagon tank. And they're just going to be trying to play long range. Yumiko doesn't see that Overlord has a sniper um, just inside the back of their spawn. But I think the Nuds, he's going to see him eventually. No one sees Overlord. He just has a sniper. He has free. You know, he's using an intervention with a, with a suppressor. No one's really focusing on him. Trigger and Karasi on the other hand. He's playing around Bepis, but he just, you know, he's, you know, he's just saying that he doesn't want to play anymore. Here we go. On Cyber Nest, gets the kill on the JJ Gaming. And so far, Overlord is just kind of getting abuse still in their spawn. They just still can't do anything. Um, the baiters, they're just trying to take advantage as much as they can, trying to play aggressive onto them. And it's simply working, honestly. You know, if they keep on playing aggressive, keep on applying pressure, it's going to be hard for Overlord to even catch up. But if Overlord, if they just play the head glitches, kind of just play better in the passive play, they could still take out uh, take out the baiters when they're playing aggressive. So, you know, uh, is there any, any words that you could say, Donnie? You know, as a player, what would you do in this case um, to come back when you're, if you're Overlord? Hello? In, yeah. in this case, I would try to gather up and buddy system, even though it, it looks like they are getting the trades when there's two on ones. So that is working for Phantoms. Is Phantoms, which team is losing right so, now? So um, the Phantoms is Overlord and Ghost is the Baiters. So Overlord could come back because they are getting trades whenever they're buddy systeming, which is working good for them. 
So I would, I would, uh, if I was the leader, I would try to rally together and push push into their spawn, but try and hold like, oh, uh, and then aspect, just <laughs> take hey, both I, of them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I just wanted you to just you know explain to me like you know how Overlord could come back, but yeah, that's all I really need. But yeah, um. Anyway, fans of YouTube, he's stuck one health. He catches Aspect just lying on the ground for like no apparent reason. And fans of YouTube, he's kind of just regening, but you know, he needs to make sure he's in cover because he just can't pick, he just can't peek out like that. You can't afford to do that. You're down by five kills. You have to play the cover. It's, it's important. You have to play the Wait, head glitches. Like four kills. And right now, Yumiko with a quad kill with oh, a Scarlet wow. Hammer playing on Reddit and shoot, spraying down everyone on Overlord. And Overlord, they just spawn right next to him on Bepis. Okay. Yeah, um, that's that's weird ever. You know, yeah, this is great. This is a great view of just seeing how, you know, people can literally just spawn like three inches away from just their enemy. And that's, you know, it's kind of hilarious. But right now, um, now that Overlord is inside Ghost's territory, it's really catching the Baiters off guard. And it looks like the Overlord is going to be making a comeback here. With they come back. The, the score They're is tied 100. Up. They're tied up. 100 to 100. This is really good plays. Everyone individually for the Overlord right now. And they're doing super good. Fanny's YouTube is definitely dominating with the L85. You know, being on Bepis. The Baiters just can't do anything about that. He's just doing super good right now. And right now, he's just... There's just nothing else I can say. <laughs> right now, Overlord is winning by at least two kills. They need to be able to just toughen up, really have a good solid standing. And they need to do, you know, more miracle plays like they just did um, five seconds ago if they want to keep on winning, if they want to stay in the lead. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, is there any any more any more analytics, man? I'm, I need you, Donnie. Yeah, I need I you see, to I see analytics. Ghosts making uh, some questionable plays. They're pushing positions that they shouldn't, and they're pushing alone, which isn't good. Usually, whenever uh, Phantoms is killing them, it's when they're catching them off guard and in two v one situations. Which the ghosts, if they cut back on on how many nonsensical pushes that they made, they would be uh, winning now i think right now the score right now is 112 to 112 overlord and the baiters are all tied up and it's just an even play at this point everyone is spread out you know the phantom side has control of bepis and but it looks like they're gonna be trying to leave it four three people on the baiters right now have control of siren right now man they're gonna try to use that as their advantage the Nuds is trying to invade Phantom Spawn right now, but could our Inspire take out one of them? It looks like he's going to be doing it. Telling Google to be the health right now, and he's going to be taken out. Iron Spider has control, uh, has control of Siren, but could trigger in Curiosity. MC-51 in play. That's not a gun that you see very commonly. Yes, and trigger Curiosity. He takes out he takes out Iron Spider. They, you know, the Baiters, they now have control of Siren. Now, what were you going to say about that? Just the, the MC-51, it's like a, almost, almost like a battle rifle, and you don't see it used in comp because of its low fire rate, but it does have really good damage and recoil, so it's nice to see someone using a non-meta gun like that. Also, oh. the Groza 1 on Aspect, that's also a non-meta gun, but it has good penetration, more than most ARs, so I've seen someone like Nathan use the Groza 1 on Desert pretty effectively. Oh yeah. And, you know, Nathan is like one of the top tier players in Fan Forces. And, you know, using that Grosser 1, I don't know. I have no idea what a Grosser 1 is. <laughs> I, I've used it before. Like, I don't... I, I'm just a casual. Uh, I think I used it when I first came out. You know, got all the attachments. And I kind of just like dipped out. But right now, we're 35 seconds left in this match right now. The score is tied up. Every kill matters right now. Iron Spider is in a gunfight with telling Google Man. Could Iron Spider take him out? But he misses that jump. But he looks like he came, he climbed the ladder and he's all good. Right now the nuts get taken out because he's one health. And right into Jumiko. He's getting gunned down by Iron Spider. And this is just crazy. Wait, there's two jersey sixes. Overlord and Iron Spider. Uh two jersey two, 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 two G36 Don't is by call the way. it out. Let uh, the refs. Uh, let uh, the refs uh, figure. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But right now, oh, Overlord is gonna be winning by four yeah. kills. It's five They're winning. Slip, and yeah, you know, they won. It's a full-on team wipe Yo. coming from Overlord. The best comeback I've ever seen. The first comeback of SEL through this competitive Phantom Forces build. Ladies and gentlemen, first map win. one is going to Overlord. Good job by Overlord, man. You know, approach, you know, a different you know, tactic. They just, something changed throughout that map that Overlord really did something or 
to, to really change that game. That was just a miracle. Great play by Overlord. And I believe that's their first map win, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, Overlord. Hey, yo, you guys don't have to at me. Like, I can rechat. I can rechat for a little bit, but he stopped moving so much. I just, you know, this is a fast paced game. I have to move a lot. And it's actually kind of hard. What about one game per objective? One cam per objective? I yeah, I, I could probably do that, but like, I, I don't have a second account spawned in so far. But anyway, Metro King of the Helm, one of the most common maps in competitive. And this is just one of, I say it's probably one of the most balanced. A lot of nades just come throwing in onto Helm. And if you don't have control of mid, it's going to be really hard. A, little, a lot of people play for escalators because it's just super strong. Having this red crate, having this not red crate, but having this crate in the side. But let's see what's going to happen now. The baiters, people spawning around for baiters is Aspect Trigger 7 <laughs> and telling the first gunsights right now. You know, telling Google finishes off Bantix, but Bantix ends up with a double kill. Right now, JJ Gaming, man, he's going to be inside purple, but the nuts just takes him out. Now, it's going to be a little bit hard spectating this because, um, you know, Metro is an inside map, so it's kind of be hard and hard. But I can try to go through in the room, all right? Trust me. I, I can try to master this. I'm still learning. Still learning. This is the first SEL match I'm commentating. Anyway, right now, uh, Overlord, they have control of Hill, but Yumiko is on it right now. And so yeah, they're far, capping. Yeah, right. The baiters just got a team wipe, but JJ Gaming man, could make a difference, and he does. JJ Game takes out two people capture the hill, but it was too late. The baiters now have control of the hill, and Aspect Seven is right now is in a gunfight with Iron Spider. Iron Spider wins it, and right now Overlord fully team wipes the baiters. Yumiko man, he's gonna try to throw a nade, but it just misses, hitting that kiosk. And Overlord now have control back on the hill. Aspect Seven, he's in the middle of the open man. He's one health, takes taken out by Cyber Tater. Is Cyber Tater gonna hold the hill? I think he will. He's gonna be holding the hill, but telling Google from Ticket Boots takes him out. The so best far. strength that Phantoms have on this map is side escalators because they get the, the immediate spawn. And the fact that they're not using it right now shows maybe their inexperience on Phantoms Metro. But they should really be utilizing side escalators more heavily. Yeah, and right now, Baiters, um, good, good job by um, Aspect or whoever just captured that hill. Uh, Yum Yumiko, I think. Uh, you know, good job of catching the hill. The baiters now have control of it, but Cyber Tater is really close by. Going aggressive on Telling Google. You Telling Google gets taken out. Now JJ Gaming and Iron Spider and Fantix YouTube is gonna be capturing the hill for Overlord. So far, the baiters are just trying to play around their spawns, trying to throw these nades. Aspect 7 right now is playing aggressive inside the Overlord spawn. He's gonna be trying to capture the hill, but he's just in the open. Fantix YouTube just catches him at the right moment. The nuts, he needs to find cover. The Nuz needs to find cover right now, but he gets taken out. Iron Spider is playing this crate really well. Man, the thing about this spectating system is that I'm able to really clearly see what's happening and just pronounce everyone's name correctly because everyone here is making a play right now, and it's just super, it's just super satisfying saying everyone's name and just t telling like what what good plays are making. Iron Spider right now, he's trying to hold down hill, but Aztec Seven takes him out. No holding hill for you. Telling Google, he's just on that crate, gets a double kill on a Cyber and Fantix. Now he's going to be holding Phantoms control on wiped. crate. The ghost isn't going for cap yet. Mm -hmm. He's going to try to play patient a little bit. Trying to wait for teammates. And so far, Yumiko with a double frag from mid, man. Really good play. Um, but so far, three people from Overlord get taken out. But Yumiko is here. Trying to hold control of mid. You know, playing that side, you know, that's all right. Uh, but, you know... They just need to hold these heads just more. They're too caught in the middle of the open, and they're not surviving long enough. Cyber Tater is getting really close to Hill. Fantix YouTube and Cyber Tater is now capturing it. And you know, the, over, the baiters, man, they had such a good advantage. They got a team wipe. They did everything right. They just weren't. They just weren't defending it. They need to do something different. The baiters triggering is sniping. Yeah, the baiters need to play like how they played the first, uh, the first, you know, half of Desert Storm. If they want to be able to win this. Aspect 7, he's doing super good, man, making all the plays for the baiters, but he's not able to finish it off because there's no help, no support coming in for the baiters to help Aspect. Right now, Overlord, they seem a lot more coordinated this map. I gotta say, they're, they're really capitalizing on each other's kills, really working together, and really just going for the cap. You know, you see them, all three of them, going for the cap all, all at once. And this is really great. Uh, any, any thoughts so far uh, for any of these teams, Donnie? Phantoms is really pushing up mid to their spawn. They're not using escalators, but they don't really need to because they're all grouping up and just killing them, like wiping them in waves. The problem with ghosts is they're not grouping up. 
they're going individually and dying individually. Right now, Overlord, they're <laughs> they're really they're really you know, holding control of mid right now. They may be getting trade kills so far, but that's all you need to be able to keep it alive for your team right now. They're up by at least 100 kills, and Iron Spider looks like he's gonna be using cover, using the kiosk for cover, at, you know, for once. And right now, the baiters, they're getting a couple double kills here and there, but they're not able to take oh, out everyone on Overlord. Triggering curiosity just got a quad feed. <laughs> and right when I just say that, man, the baiters just full on team wipe Overlord, and now Yumiko is going to the hill. Okay. Yeah, now they're going for cap. It's an unorthodox cap position, but I guess it's it works. So we're 10 minutes left. Um, you think uh, the baiters are going to be able to come back here? Yeah, they're double they got Ooh, double frag. Heavy <laughs> lover with a double frag because two people were holding down a hill. This is this opens a really good opening for uh for Overlord right so far, man. But telling Google, he has control of trait. And you know, yeah, this is a really good advantage if he uses level. correctly. And he and it looks like he will. Puppy lover is not he gonna is, be on the hill he's, so far. He's stopping them as they come. Ooh, oh, they can't. Google, man, no one has a sign on Puppy Lover. But right now, telling Google is just getting so much value playing on top of Crate. And you know. You know, they, they just can't be on top Neither of Crate for too long, man, because, you know, they have no cover. And Phoenix usually just finishes off everyone that was holding down mid. The Baiters is coming back from their spawn. Um, any more thoughts, man? I can't talk. I, can't, I can't, really can't talk forever. The Phantoms are playing this map how they should. They've taken over Escalator Control. And they should have an easier time holding it. Cyber Tester is just... Yeah, dominating escalators. He got a triple feed with the MC-51. And even though Ghost has purple, they okay, no, they went for the cap too late. So I don't think uh, Ghost is, uh, is the best at OBJ. If they were, they'd be going for caps more frequently. Even yeah. though they don't have full full map control, they could go for caps. And, and I, I feel like... is just holding now. Yeah, I feel like they are. They're just their defense is just too weak. They just don't know where to hold. All they've been doing right so far is just playing on that crate at escalators. But other than that, they just don't know the proper defense when it comes to Metro. They don't have anyone at red. They don't have anyone at like ticket foods and purple. No, none of that. They're not having anyone playing the hexages, you know, on certain kiosks. Um the overlord, I mean the baiters, they just need to be able to work on their defense more if they're gonna be able to come back. Because Overlord right now, they seem a lot more coordinated. They know they have experience when it comes to Metro. And they're looking really strong right now. The Baiters is having a lot of trouble. Right now, it's a lot of gunfights happening. The Nuds gets taken out uh, on Escalators. Phoenix YouTube is just low health. And everything Puppy right now is coming from long range. Hard holding hill. And Overlord is just such a great advantage. But Yumiko and Trigger Rain is going to get picks, opening opening a slot for the Baiters to come back here, opening a spot to, you know, fully team wipe. But Iron Spider, he's holding it down on the head glitch. And, but he gets they taken out as well. They should go for the cap. Yeah, they're going to go for the cap now. But, you know, there's two people in green, you know, holding down the hill, and they're really preventing Aspect from capturing they, it. They but it. Yumiko, with a triple kill to MP7, man, takes out everyone in green. And the Baiters is now going to be capturing yeah, the hill. Yeah, they if the baiters kind of just, you know, play their proper defense, play these kiosks well, they need to be able to hold their defense uh, because they have a lot of time to come back. But they're just Puppy's not able to do recap. it. Yumiko, they, he, Yumiko needs to take out the guy that's holding down hill. He Why just is recap. looking at it? They're right next Yumiko, to each other. Look at him. They're right next to each other. What? Yes. Yumiko is going to be going oh to hill. God. Oh my gosh. Wow, that took long enough. They're right next Come to each on. other. You gotta, you gotta be able to look at comms. You gotta be able to hear it, man. Oh, right now, Aspect 7, he wants to be able to hold down the hill. But I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's gonna be the proper play. He's gonna be able to, he's gonna just expose himself. They need to be able to have this defense on lockdown. They, they can't be holding down the hill. It's six minutes left. They have time. They have time, you know, ah, but, you know, it's this, you know, they want to do, they want to try to get in the league as early as they possible, and that's fine. They just need to be able to have the proper defense first. And so far, uh, as long as Overlord is just throwing nades on the hill, it's going to be really hard to really hold it down for the baiters right now. And now Puppy Lover is going to be holding down the, the hill once again. And the baiters, they're not able to, they don't have the nade knowledge to be able to throw their nade on the hill. So far, Ah, oh, just the the defense, the defense was just not there for the baiters. 
all right they had to kill Kadra, man they made super good plays but they decided to hold the tail early which they you know it really wasn't needed but mm -hmm. since they were holding down the hill man they just get taken out overlord capitalizes on their mistakes and now overlord they have possession of the hill and they're gonna be holding down uh, mid control once again but you know the baiters they're a type of team they can catch overlord when, you know off guard when you know they can catch them when they're out of position and you know the baiters anytime uh, the nuts, man, he's coming from a purple. He's gonna be able to take out a little bit of people right now. Ooh, he just, he's super close. He's super close, but he gets taken out. The baiters right now, man, they're struggling so far in their offense. <laughs> the Overlord is just doing super good on taking out these players, really being coordinated, really calling out where the enemies are. And the comms are there, I can tell. The comms are there for Overlord, and they're just doing super well. And one's holding down the hill while the others are just holding around escalator side. Really just playing this defense well. You can see this triple or quad. They're all firing towards the Paradox Escalator, which is hard. Like, the Ghosts are not going to win this this fight when there's four sets of Tracers going to Paradox. What they should and, do is tr try the flank, which they are going for the flank right now. Yeah, and I feel like a common uh, a common mistake for the Baiters right now is they're trying to go, you know, through this Escalator. But what they what they need to know is that, you know, Overlord, they have direct line of sight of that certain Escalator. They can't be going for that all the time because they would just feed at that point. They need to be able to go through some flanks, go through purple, go through Escalators, do something because there's so many openings um, on this map. They can literally go for purple right now. No one on Overlord is holding purple room. They can literally just take... You know, three seconds of their time at flanking the purple room and really just taking out anyone in mid through purple room. But I don't know why the baiters are not doing that. And someone needs to call it out. The Overlord is just holding down Escalator side and they're just doing super well. But Aspect 7, man, he's holding, he's coming up Escalator. He's gonna see Fanatics. He's gonna take him out in the back. Aspect 7 gets a double kill. He's, you know, the last one he sees gets taken out, man. Iron Spider, he was just there. He came down at the right time, taking out Aspect. But we're telling Google, tell, you know, he, he gets taken out. JJ Gaming is just there to really support his teammates right now. And a lot of gunfights are happening in the Ghost's, Ghost's territory. And that gives them enough time. Um, you know, this is actually really good here. Overlord, they play aggressive inside Ghost's spawn to really buy uh, their teammates enough time uh, to really just come back to their positions. I'm telling Google is playing on Stone right now, but gets double teamed by Fantix and JJ Gaming. I think anyway, he's going to be entering purple right now. Iron Spider and Aspect 7 is going to be looking at each other so far. Aspect 7 is just super good with his awareness. Super, super high awareness. And he just takes out everyone that he sees. That was a good play. They all pushed purple and they all... Mm -hmm. they, they got the hill together. And that's what they should have been doing. Yeah, but everyone else on the baiters need, really need to work on their map awareness. Because JJ Gaming, he was in the middle of the open. If the Fumiko really just turned around, simply just turned around... He would have gotten him. It's surprising. It, you know, Yumiko right now, man, he is top fragging though. Man. So I gotta put him respect. I gotta put respect on his name. But it, it, you're just so close, man. Yumiko is just so close on making these top tier plays. But he just needs the awareness. I, I don't know if the, the, the debaters have comms. Do they have anything? Because they, they need to call each other. They need to really just listen to their comms and call out the enemies. They're so close. They're, they're just so close. Right now, um, it looks like, you know, the baiters, they're gaining a couple of picks coming in from the duds. And, you know, Iron Spider, he's holding down Crate. And Fanix, he's a little bit low, playing around Ticket Booth. And, you know, right when I say that, the baiters is just taking out uh, almost everyone. You can see a gunfight is happening so far, but Cybertator takes out Aspect. It looks like the only playmaker so far is coming in from Aspect. But, you know, he's not, he's not doing the best on his team so far. Everyone on the baiters just need to really, um... I don't know, be more coordinated in their offense. I don't know. There's just there's just lots of stuff that the Bayers should work on. But you know, looking from this game, they had so many opportunities to win this match, and they just didn't take them. They just simply just ignored them. They just didn't know it was there. So maybe they'll rewatch this vod and just kind of just see uh, how badly they really messed up because they were like inches away from really winning this game. But they just weren't able to do it. Overlord were just a way better coordinated team this match. And they really came back uh, when it came to Desert Storm. And I think their mental really encouraged them to dominate uh, the next map. And 40 seconds left, man.
this game is going to be going to Overlord, and Overlord will be getting their second, uh, their second map win in their first match, um, first match won in SCL. And right now, you can see that Overlord is just celebrating right now, celebrating in kills, and it's just amazing oh, to wow. see a quad kill coming from JJ Game. He might, you know, he he's excited, bro. They're all so happy just by looking at the kills, and they even try to hold down the hill just to even uh, make the game faster. 10 seconds left now, and I think uh, I think the I think it's gonna be zero right when uh, right when the right when the timer ends. But I don't know. And right now, over, actually, the Baiters are actually gonna stop that. The score ended 355 to six. Map two is going to Overlord, and that was just insane, ladies and gentlemen. This was the first match to ever be streamed from the competitive Phantom Forces build. That was amazing match to watch, guys. How do you guys feel getting your first win in SEL? Scared. Very, 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 very good. We feel really happy and good. Really happy and good. That's, I'm glad to hear that. Um, was yeah. there any, any thoughts on that first map? Desert Storm TDM, man. You guys came back, like, you know, yep. almost like last half of the map, screaming. man. I was just screaming the whole time. You're, you're just screaming? How, how, yeah. How was the comms? Can you, like... Can you describe how the comms were? Chaotic. Chaotic? Was that happening, like, throughout the entire map? Or, like, what was it happening when, like... It was what? only happening towards the end, because it was so close at the end, so... <laughs> That's amazing, man. Uh, and I assume you, one of you guys, like, recorded, right? I actually can't wait to yeah, see this. I, I'm probably going to post yeah, this on YouTube. Yeah. Hey, oh, man, I can send amazing. you a clip right now of the end. Oh, I mean, sure, if you can. But, uh, let's, yeah, there let's we talk. go. Where, there we go. Hey. You send me it? Oh. Yeah, right. I sent you it. <laughs> Here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be looking at this clip so far, man. I want to see what those comments were like. Was there any cuss words? Yep. Oh, uh, probably. Probably. <laughs> we're with swearing a tiny bit, I think. You know what? I, I only sworn once. I swore once. <laughs> All right, we're just going to take a peek at the comms so far, okay? Just um, mind, mind, the, mind the bad language. Oh, this is so close, guys. Come on, come on, come on. I got, I got one. I got one. I got one. I got one. Yes, this is so close. We're running, we're I'm running. Just, just just keep it together. Wall banged? Wall banged? I just wall banged. Keep, it, keep the lead, keep the lead. Keep the lead, keep the lead. Come on, come on. Oh my god. Got him. This is so close, I swear. Another god. one? I have a heart attack. Holy shit. We actually Yay! <laughs> oh my <laughs> gee, we actually won our first oh game. Oh, this is so close, guys. Man, you guys sounded so happy, man, and I'm so happy for you guys. Yeah. How did you guys I just manage to do my it? Desk. How did you guys manage to make a comeback like that, man? Was it just because you guys spawned on Bepis? We all know. I just played the game. I just got my sniper out because I was doing so bad with autos, and I just used sniper. Well, man. That's I'll why I did. I just um, played tactical. That was the uh, thing. Well, what were the struggles at the beginning of the map, man? That just was there getting anything out of spawn. Getting yeah, out getting of spawn. spawn was the main thing. <laughs> yes, all right. That's good, man. Um, now let's talk about second map, man. You guys just straight up, you know, dominated Metro in the end. But, you know, just talk about it a little bit, man. What were some key plays that happened uh, when you guys came back? Uh, just in started to get more came... collapsed. Yeah, I started to get more collapsed and such, so I sort of learned their movement where they try to uh, push for red and such. Yeah. Um, and was there... Was there really uh, any any plays, any uh, any players in your guys uh, in your guys team that you guys really want to mention that really made a super good plays in this match? I think Iron Spider did pretty well. Same with uh, like the whole entire team actually just did amazing. Antics and we all just started like doing amazing. So it was just so amazing. Man, that that's awesome, man. Um, what's the future for Overlord looking like, guys? I mean, what's the future for Overlord looking like for you guys? Winning. Winning? Um, uh, no, winning, winning. Winning, winning. okay. All right, yeah, yes. winning, awesome. That's great to hear, we man. Need to try we need to try a lot harder. We need to try a lot harder. Try a lot yeah, harder. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I mean, definitely celebrate this win, man. It's well-deserved. You guys are now one to four, and I can't wait to see, you know, you guys in the future, man, especially with the spectating system. I saw everything. I saw everything, you know? You guys, you guys are actually really good, and you guys, I, I saw you guys' struggles, I saw you guys' ups, I saw you guys' downs. 
it was just amazing to watch. It was just amazing to watch you guys. I'm, I'm super happy. Okay, so, thank you so much. Um, is there anything you guys want to say um, to the stream, to the viewers, and just to everyone? Uh, don't, for you know, yeah, for our whole team. <laughs> our whole entire team has a YouTube. Like, okay, you, you want to shout them out? Yeah, I don't, I don't mind. Oh, bet. Uh, subscribe to the JJ Gaming on YouTube. And, subscribe uh, to Oblivious Evolu on YouTube. Subscribe to Fantix on YouTube. Who else? Subscribe to Chicken Bot on YouTube. Yes, yes. He didn't play this, but he's still a good YouTuber. All right. And who has the most subs? Chicken Bot. Uh, Chicken Bot. Yeah. Chicken Bot. All right. Uh, with how then many? Then Fantix. Eight thousand something. Eight thousand. Man, that's awesome. That's awesome, man. Um, but yeah, I, I guess uh, any more it, man. <laughs> anything, anything else you guys want to say, or you know, I guess just say it. Okay.